Welcome back to Is It Playable? In this video, we'll be taking a look at whether Yakuza is playable with PCSX2 within RetroArch. The original, of course. Although it's kind of weird, playing the original with the English dub when Kiwami exists. Not like it matters. You know, both games are good. Kiwami expands a lot on uh, the original. I'm pretty sure Kiwami and Kiwami 2 do the same. There's a lot more you can do in Kiwami than you can in the original, obviously. 2005 is when this came out. Ah, okay. Couldn't quite remember, to be honest. October 1st, 1985, at Fate of a Traitor. And yeah, this is what kicked off my obsession with the Yakuza franchise. They're just such good games. Although, when I played them, I didn't really... I mean, yeah, I experienced the main story, which is what I found to be more important, but I didn't really bother with the sub-stories, which I really should have. Because most of those are incredibly well written too. And goofy in some situations. And every time I see this homeless guy, I always think it's Akiyama, but I don't actually know if that is the case. Well, I don't even know if, um... Akiyama would have been conceptualized as a character back in 2005. And again, when did... 3... or was it 4? No, it was 4. That was when Akiyama actually became a character. I don't even think he had a, an appearance in any of the other games. Could be wrong though. I'm just going to Google it while this plays out. Hmm... Yakuza 1, Akiyama. It definitely could have been him, actually. No, now that he, uh... I'm looking at the outfit he was wearing. It does look very similar. Although he's wearing a beanie when... It showed him in a, like a cap. Hmm. Alright. Yeah, it's just, I don't know, every time I see him it just makes me think it's Akiyama, even though that's not the case. More than likely, isn't the case. Yeah. I want to thank you for helping me make this collection, I mean. It's my pleasure, Shinji. All right. I was about to say this is the only Yakuza game that's uh, got an English dub, but that's not true because Like a Dragon has an English dub. <laughs> Up until Like a Dragon, this is the only one with an English dub. Or the only mainline Yakuza game with an English dub, I guess. Technically, Yakuza 7 isn't. I don't know, would you count it as mainline? It still is, it's just. The story doesn't revolve about around Kazuma Kiryu. Eh. Right, now I can skip through all this. We are collecting 200 million. A whole lot of money. It's weird, I played this game a long time ago. Um, but I still remember basically everything that happens. Like, I still remember most of the story, if not all the story beats. It's kind of crazy. Just goes to show the, uh, the impact the game left. I just really liked it. Alright, there we go. Boom! Could probably get through this and that'll do. I mostly just wanted to show off going through the city and combat. You. Sorry I'm late. I'm Kazuma, an associate of the Dojima family. Uh, I didn't expect you to come, Kazuma-san. When you don't pay your debts, I'm what you get. T tomorrow <clears throat> I'll have the money by tomorrow. Please, I have children. I'm supposed to believe this shit as you're packing up, getting ready to bail out? I'll say it slower. Where is our money? Please! Ah, I'm sorry. Hey, how about getting the fuck up? <laughs> Please don't kill me. Ooh. Huh? <laughs> uh, 
I've heard about the Dojima family. You guys collect your debts at the end of a gun barrel, right? When someone doesn't pay up, you kill them to prove a point. Everyone knows. Listen, that's just a rumor spread by fools that can't pay their dues. Ugh. Oh, Shinji, you fool. You got knocked on your ass. I don't have your money. Damn it. You leave me no choice. <gasps> no. Versus Harada. I really like the music for this game. Whether I prefer it over this, uh, over Kawami, I'm not sure. Because they kind of remixed the song. Whoa, language. Yeah, this is the tutorial. Kicked some ass. Goddamn. <laughs> yeah, get used to hearing that. Get in my face. Oh my god, knocked them all on the ass. There we go. One more. Yeah, you just do all your different moves. Body blow! <laughs> I think that was like, I was calling me a bitch. I know, it's the other one. I can't remember how this one goes. Oh, it's the uppercut, that's right. Downside is it always knocks him on the floor. Alley oop! First time I actually tried playing this, the game froze right before they came through the door. Hmm. Oh god, I have to hit him nine times? I'm not entirely sure. I think it might just be the fact the game had issues with loading the cutscene. Like the mini cutscene. I can use this! The Daruma doll! I was wondering. I just dazed him with it? Oh my god, that's awesome. Right now I think we learn. Oh no, we don't. We learned grabbing attacks. Ooh! I do like the combo for when you grab them. You just kind of stand them up straight and then headbutt them. It's got quite the impact. Oh yeah! God, throwing attacks now? I forgot how many things you have to do. Whoops. You've got to do throwing attacks. Then you get to do the heat actions. Which I will admit, in in the first Yakuza game, they're not that impressive. They definitely expanded upon them with uh, Kawami, that's for sure. You just need to beat ass a little bit. There we go. Oh! They're just, they're very, very brutal in uh, Kawami. I don't think there's, like, heat actions for... weapons in this, either. I think that came into being in Yakuza 3. Or it was Yakuza 2, I don't really remember. I just need to kick two more asses. And I think it's the end of the tutorial. Oh! Just hope that I can't use the items. It would have just been nice, you know, pick up a golf club and smack them with it. And now we have to finish the rest of them off. Too easy. Can't get up. Get up. <gasps> I missed. They don't even fight. Okay, I win. Yeah, they don't even fight back. And there we are. Uh, I, I'm really sorry. Please forgive me. I don't say where'd Shinji go. I got the money. A promise is a promise. Don't take it personally. It's just business. Well, there you go. And... Yep. It would seem that the game is perfect. Which is good, because it's a really good game. I was going to say, if you don't have Kawami, but you have the original, then you can play it on the Xbox. I remember when I first played, I... I misunderstood the starting your own family thing as like, oh, he's having a kid. What the hell? But yeah, there was, there's literally been zero dips, so I feel fairly confident in uh, the performance of the game. So it would seem that Yakuza is playable, and that's going to be the end of this video. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed. If you did, please like the video, subscribe for more, leave suggestions for games you want to see, and until next time, take care.